flood. We experience them every single year. We hate it when our houses, yards, or even roads are filled with water that could contain the urine of rats. I am not gonna teach you today how to prepare for floods. But what I am going to teach you are two ways to know if the property that you are going to buy is in a flood zone. I'm going to give you practical tips and I'm going to teach you how to use the technology that we have today so that you are not fooled by salespeople who say, Oh, sir, wala, walang bahaja. Pag-uulan lang. No more of that. My name is Joby Gonzalez. Keep watching. So the first step to know if your property is in a flood zone, obvious man, you ask the neighbors. Especially the houses that don't look new. Those who have been there for a long time, who have seen the village through many typhoons. Those are the people you ask. Gusto ko lang ipakita sa mga viewers ko kung binabaha ba talaga dito. Ipanahon lang talaga ng ulo niya. Undoy talaga. Tumangat talaga ng ano to. Ano. So wala na. Hindi na. Tagal na sir. Wala. Kahit gaano lakas ng ulan at saka inimpog na yung drainage natin. Mm. Dati dito maliit yan. Ngayon malalaki na. Uh, yan yan. Mm. Yung break pipe at saka ano yung nilawa. Simula undoy sir. Nandito na rin ako. You ask them if the street in front of your property is flooded during typhoon days. Next, yung itatanong mo, minabaha pa yung mga main roads ng subdivision. The last thing you want to happen is to come home from work, tired, and you want to rest in your house. But you come home to your subdivision, lahat ng kotse nakapark dun sa harap ng gate. Why? Because the roads are flooded. No one can go inside. Okay, that happened a lot of times in many subdivisions now where all the cars would just park in front of the village and they walk. They would just walk. You would want to know if the main roads are flooded so that you are not stranded during those typhoon days. The last thing that I would want you to ask is kung binabaha ba yung mga main highways that lead to your subdivision. What happened to me before actually was we were coming home, we were all tired, and then ang traffic to Marcos Highway because the creek had overflowed and all the cars would fit into one lane. You wouldn't want that. So what are the three things? One, ask about the street in front of your house kung binabaha with your neighbors. Next, you ask kung binabaha yung mga main roads sa subdivision. And third, you ask about the main highways that get you to your subdivision. If you are presented with a property and you know these three things, you know what you are getting into. Hindi ka lang magugulat na bigla, ah, oh no, binabaha. Okay, you know, you knew what you were getting into. So now you might be asking, paano kung walang tao dun sa subdivision? Come in, it's a beautiful subdivision. A lot of the lots have been bought already, but no one has built a house there. The only thing that you can do in this situation is to ask people outside the subdivision, all right? If there are businesses, terminals near the subdivision, yun, you ask them. Kung wala talagang tao, because sometimes some subdivisions have caretakers inside, so you can ask them. But if you can find any person inside the subdivision besides your real estate agent, then you ask them. So now that we're done asking people about the property, now it's time for me to teach you to the second method, the technological aspect. The second method is called NOAA. Name of the software is NOAA. When you go to Google and search NOAA UP, you're going to find it. So what is this? All right, NOAA is an advanced software with the goal of raising Filipinos' awareness of natural disaster. Now, how can this help us? What can we do? It can provide flood zones in the country with up to 95% accuracy. Meaning, when you use this software, you are getting data from satellites like the Himawari satellite. For floods, we do validation. After a flood event, there's an image from space. These are called satellite. They compare it with the flood map. What we've noticed is that there's always good comparison. And automated sensors like the water level sensor and the rain gauges, which gather the amount of rainfall in a set period of time. There's a thunderstorm, for example, when there's a tweet or there's a Facebook post and it's geotagged and we know where it happened, there's a photo, we look at it on the flood map and all the time we see that uh, what we say that is going to get flooded are the ones that get reported. In other words, reliable. Yeah. The first step that you're going to do is go to the NOAA website. So it's noaa.up.edu.ph, okay? Next, so observe this, okay? You have this clear map of Metro Manila. You can actually view the whole Philippines from this beautiful map, right? Click this button right here, ARCGIS Online, right? Pick this map so that you get to see the streets, okay? 
So, it makikita niyo exact address niyo. Next, click flood. Okay, you have three choices here. 5 year, 25 year, 100 year. 5 year flood hazards means kung ano yung nakikita mo dito, it has a 20% chance of happening. Okay? Pag 25 year naman, it has a 4% chance of happening. So as you can see, mas malala yung nasa 25 year. And 100 year, 1% chance of happening. So let's just stick to the 5 year so that, you know, it's more practical. It's it's more likely to happen. So now that we have this here, so not all subdivisions ha can be searched here. But let's go to Ayala Alabang. Okay, Ayala Alabang. We can see here, so this is Ayala Alabang right here. This village right here. So, makikita natin dito that there are not a lot of flooded areas. Yes, we see some yellow, okay? Orange, that's when you ask people. So, here in these orange red zones, yan, if you have a property there that you're looking at, magtanong kayo sa neighbors kung pinabaha. Kasi as you can see here, malapit siya sa body of water. There is a creek behind. I'm not sure if this is a creek or a river. More likely a creek, so there's a creek behind. So it's best talaga if you ask the neighbors. It's all red, though. so most most probably binabaha tong ha, binabaha tong bahay na to. But most of the houses here in Ayala Alabang, they don't have to worry about floods. They're safe. Right. Next, let's go to Vista Real. Vista Real. Right, so here. So nakakalito dito. Ang nakakalito lang dito. Naka zoom out siya ng sobra. So, what you want to do is you put your mouse in the middle, okay? Tantsahin mo na lang, and then zoom in. And most likely, you're going to end up in the subdivision. So, we can see here, of Vista Real Avenue. So, this is the subdivision, okay? And we can see here that most of the parts here, hindi siya binabaha. So, this is when you enter. Mataas kasi yung Vista Real. Eh. So, here, hindi siya binabaha. We have Tivoli Royale here as well. So this is probably a creek. I'm not sure yet. This is a creek. So kaya siya binabaha at this part. Okay? But most hindi naman. So we have only in the lower parts of the subdivision can we see na binabaha siya. So this is the clubhouse right here. And we can see na malapit siya sa river. So, yeah. So of course, if you're near the river, binabaha talaga yung mga nearby areas. You can see here, red, red zone, automatic flood yan. Orange, that's when you ask the neighbors kung binabaha. And yellow... Okay, so we have parts here. So we can conclude that this part of the subdivision, hindi binabaha. And this part, okay, we have the lower parts, binabaha siya. Next, let's check a highway naman. So Marcos Highway. Okay, so yan, this is it. Nakakalito nga, eh. nakakalito minsan. But, okay, here. So we see some parts are orange, some are yellow. But I can give testimony to this part right here. Ito. There's a creek here. And what happened during the typhoon season? And that's why I want you to search about the highways. Kung binabaha. Kasi hassle din po sa inyo. Okay? So this red, this is correct. Okay, tama tama talaga tong red zone na to. Binabaha talaga. Okay. So those are three examples. Now it's time for you to do your own searching. They provide data for the whole Philippines. Okay, look at that. Hot the mga flood zones. Even up to here, yeah, no? Even up to the northern regions. Well, let's see, let's see. Yeah. Diba? So now it's time for you to benefit from this software. Nationwide operational assessment of hazards. NOAA. So that is it for this video. I hope you got some value out of it. I also hope that the NOAA software will bring you so much value and will help you to make smarter decisions when you purchase a new property. Before you go, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you get to watch my videos. So yes, please do that. And if you want to see a 71 million peso condominium in New Manila, click on the video on the bottom right corner so that you can watch it. All right, see you. God bless. Oh wait, no. God bless till the next video.